Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I am your exhausted yet overly ecstatic, yay, <laughs> host, Daniel Goodwill. And over there is your overly hyper for today, John Ludo. Yeah. All righty. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Tower Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585. Today's show is featuring the Atlanta Gladiators the, and the Indy Fuel, who will be up first on the docket, followed by the Arizona Coyotes versus the Nashville Predators and Texas Stars at the Milwaukee Admirals as the Admirals went for their historic 14th Right All right, so starting first, the Atlanta Gladiators took on the Indy Fuel in Indy. Shots on goal in the first period, Indy outshot Atlanta 15-7. to In the second period, Indy outshot Atlanta 12-8. to In the third period, Atlanta outshoots Indy 19-6. to In overtime, Indy outshoots Atlanta 3-2. to And in total, Indy outshoots Atlanta 37-36. Now Atlanta goes two for five on the power play with 15 minutes, six infractions, while Indy goes one for four with 17 minutes, seven infractions. All right. Scoring in the first period, there was nothing. Scoring in the, in the second period for Atlanta at the 146 mark. Uh, for Atlanta was a goal by Jack Matier, assisted by Reese Vitelli and Jackson Pearson. Then at the 332 mark, Indy scores with a goal from Cameron Hills, assisted by Kyle Maximovich and Colin Bielek. Then at the 729 mark, Indy scores again with a goal from John Martin, assisted by Seamus Malone and Christopher Camlin. Then at the 1959 mark, Indy scores again with a goal from Kyle Maximovich, assisted by Mattis Spodniak and Ross McDougall. All right. So starting in the third is Brendan Hoffman, assisted by Griffin Luce. He's on the loose. That's mm -hmm. his point game in a row. And Michael Miller. Uh, then Michael Miller scores with an assist from Luke Prokop and Carson Gasavage. Devin Mutter in the second period towards the end got a tripping call, a five-minute fighting call, and a two-minute unsportsmanlike. So he put his team down quite, quite a bit. Yeah. Oh. In overtime, there's no scoring, so it went to a shootout. But in overtime, we also had a penalty shot from the Atlanta side. It was Micah Miller on Mitchell Weeks. Um, no goal there. Shooting first was the... He shoots first. He went, okay. So shooting first was Cameron Hillis. He scored. Um, Jackson Pearson, no goal. Uh, Colin Felix, no goal. Uh, Reese Vitale, goal. Brett Palmer, no goal. Micah Miller, no goal. Seamus Malone, goal. Robin Castile, goal. Kyle Macko, oh God, I don't even want to try anymore. Maximovich. He needed to score. Nolan Burke, no goal. Uh, John Martin scored and Brandon Hoffman missed. The Atlanta Gladiators fall in a shootout. In net was Josh Boyko for Atlanta, stopping 33 of 36, while Mitchell Weeks stopped 33 of 36 as well. Ugh. But at least Atlanta gets up one. Right. On to the next game where the Nashville Predators took on the Arizona Coyotes. I'll start with the scoring, though. I got it. Okay. 
Shots on goal in the first period, Arizona outshoots Nashville 12 to 10. In the second period, Arizona outshoots Nashville 12 to 9. In the third period, Nashville outshoots Arizona 17 to 6. And in overtime, each team had a shot with Nashville outshooting Arizona 37 to 31. On the faceoff circle, Nashville was better at 53.3% to Arizona's 46.7%. Arizona went two for four on the power play with 12 penalty minutes, while Nashville goes two for six with 10 penalty minutes. Nashville just barely out hits Arizona 24-23. Arizona out blocked Nashville 27-12. to Nashville had 13 giveaways to Arizona's five, and Nashville had six takeaways to Arizona's three. Also, before going into this game, Nashville was 0-2 against Arizona as well as the strong first. <clears throat> well, scoring in the first was Ryan O'Reilly with his 18th with an assist from Phil Forsberg, his 28th, and Gustav Nyquist, his 27th. Then scoring was, I was I believe that to be uh, Travis Dermott, but I want to make sure that I'm right on the, yep, I am, dang, I'm good. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Travis Dermott scores his second with an assist from Jason Zucker, his 11th, and Alexander Kerfoot, his 22nd. Then, um, okay, got it. Then, then in the second period, both of these were power play goals. Uh, scoring at the 11-39 mark was Roman Yossi to put the uh, turns up 2-1. With an assist from Tyson Berry, then Dylan Gutier, Guter, Dylan Guter scores his fourth on on the season with an assist from Clay Keller and Jason Zucker. That game is still tied. All right. Then in the third, Valamaki scores for Arizona. That's his second on the year, assisted by Gunther, his fifth. And Hayton is third. That was at the 145 mark, putting them up three to two. Then Schmoltz scores his 14th on the power play at 407 for Arizona, assisted by Zucker, his 13th, and Keller is 27, making it four to two. Then Tommy Novak scores his ninth of the year on the power play, assisted by McDonough, his 12th, and Evangelista, his 14th. That was at the six minute mark, making it four to three. And then Philip Forsberg scores his 25th of the season at the 959 mark, assisted by O'Reilly, his 26th, and Yossi is 36. That tied it up. Then in overtime at the 136 mark, Ryan McDonough scores his second of the year, assisted by Tommy Novak and Gustav Nyquist, his 28th. Nashville wins 5-4. All righty. Um, I did not get to see much of this game at all because I was at the Admirals game. So in that was for was Connor Ingram. He stopped thirty two and thirty seven with an eighty six point five save percentage on the game. In that for the Preds was Saros. He stopped twenty seven and thirty one with an eighty seven point one save percentage. That's just not going to cut it. Yeah. Yeah, you got the two points, but that's just not going to cut it. Sorry. The AHL goalies are... Uh, well... Um, outshining you, if you will, up, down up there in Nashville. Uh, it's, it's, as far as system-wise, the... Uh, that's been the thing lately. All righty. So with that, the Preds get a much needed two points. That puts them, you know, right deadlocked with St. Louis, where St. Louis still has two games in hand. Minnesota right. has a game in hand, and they're right up behind Nashville. Um, and they would they 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 do need some help, but. If Nashville falters, um, that could be a small problem for Nashville down the line. Yeah. Um, 
We'll see where things go there. On to the next one, the Milwaukee Admirals, who are red hot. Yeah. Save the best for last, they say. <laughs> um, 13 in a row is amazing. Yeah. Let's just dig into this one. Fairly easy game. I got the scoring in the shootouts. <laughs> All right. So the Milwaukee Admirals took on the Texas Stars. Shots on goal in the first period. Texas outshoots Milwaukee 14 to 4. In the second period, Texas outshoots Milwaukee 10 to 6. In the third period, Texas outshoots Milwaukee 10 to 7. And in total, Texas outshoots Milwaukee 34 to 22. Now on the power play, Texas goes 0 for 1 with 18 minutes 5 infractions, while Milwaukee goes 1 for 3 with 4 minutes 2 infractions. All righty. Um, we might as well add that there was an abuse of an official after the game was over. Yeah. So I would like to add that as well. All right. Scoring in the first on the power play was King Kemmel. Yo, King Ke Yo, Kim Kemmel. Uh, he's got his 12th on the season with an assist from Jordan Gross's 13th and Igor Afanasiev is 21st on the power play. Then at the 11.43 mark, Logan Stankoven scores his 22nd with an assist from Maverick Morkis, 35th, and Christian Cairo his 11th. No other <coughs> None. None in the second, none in the third, none in OT. But the Admirals did have four shots in overtime, but Texas, they didn't get one. Yeah. Um, so we go to a shootout. Shooting first was the Admirals, Liam Foody. Food. <laughs> um, he did not score. Uh, Logan Stankoven, no goal. Um, then Jordan Gross gets one. He scored. Maverick Bork, no goal. Igor Afanasiev, no goal. Mate Blummel, no goal. Admirals win their franchise record 14th in a row and Troy Grosnick wins his franchise leading record he extends it to 13 in a row he has won 13 games in a row that's insane yeah in that for the Texas Stars was Matthew Murray. He stopped, not the one that played for Toronto. No, not that one. Or wherever he is now, wherever Matt Murray is. Uh, not that one. Um, he stopped 20 and 21. Um, in that, as I said, for the Admirals with Troy Grosnick, it was supposed to be Yaroslav Askarov, but he took a puck to the neck or throat region. That is the general synopsis of what I have seen so far um, and was um, not available for tonight's game, period. I did not see him on the bench. He did not come out. I didn't see him at any point. Um, Troy Grosnick stopped 33 of 34. Um, the attendance at the UW Panther Arena was 8,554. Your three stars of the game. Third star of the game was Maverick Mark with an assist. Second star of the game was Logan Stankoven with a goal. And your first star of the game was Troy Grosnick with 33 saves. <laughs> um, that being said, um, The Admirals are in a tie, points-wise, for second place in the league. Technically, if we go by percentage, we have it beat. Yeah. Now, if you want to talk about division, we got a...
15 point lead on the two teams tied for second and we got a game in hand against one of them yeah um I believe Rockford won today Yes, they did. Um, congratulations to former Blackhawks goaltender Corey Crawford. Uh, his number wasn't retired by the Rockford Icehawks tonight. Nobody will ever wear the number 29 again. Um, also, in today, uh, in statistic lines, um, Alex Ovechkin broke another one away. Gretzky's unthinkable breaking, uh, broken, you know, another record. Yeah. Um, most empty net goals. <laughs> um, so there's that. Uh, we got anything else? Uh, the, oh, yes, the upcoming show. Tuesday, double. Um, please come on out and see the Admirals push for 15. It's also camera night and Valentine's Day, so we're going to have plenty of stuff to do. Yeah. Hopefully John will be there. Should be. But I thank you all for watching. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by Hockey Locker. Thank you, and see you all on Tuesday. Enjoy your Super Bowl Sunday. And I can't believe the words coming out of my mouth, but go Niners. <laughs>